the recorder on there it goes and uh, welcome everyone my name's once again my name's tim burgess i'm in a company called maximizing results and i just want to gather real quick today to share with you what did i do to list for sale by owner properties and and how did i find it so easy and and truly to me it is easy so when i speak of the simplicity of it if you've had some experience in in this game and you've had some experience with real estate and you haven't had the same type of of, of results that I did, just open your mind a little bit to, to the fact that it could be easy. And I want to share with everybody, I'm in my home office today. I apologize if we get interrupted. I have a um, I have a sick grandson here today. He's cracking a fever about a buck, buck three, a buck four. So if I get interrupted, I'm just going to apologize for that now. I'm a real person in a real home office with real issues, just like you and everybody else in the world. Um, but, you know, what I want to share with you today, I will share exactly what I did what did I say? And what did I do prior to getting into this business that allowed me to have this type of success? So let me turn my video off real quick because I don't want to be a distraction. Um, yeah, he'll feel better. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. He little, little guy's had it all week, man. And um, once again, if we get distracted, I apologize. But uh, my mindset till he's fine. He's, he's good. I think grandma's still here. So all is well. So let's talk about listing for sale by owners every month in 2024. Huh? Every month. Yes, consistently. Now, what I'd like to get out of the way also is this idea that some of you think I might be trying to sell you something. You're already here. And, and, and oh my gosh, what's he going to try to sell me today? I'd please lower the wall down, man, and open your mind a little bit. And, and first of all, let me set your mind at ease and you can bet your sweet little booty, we are going to try to sell you something. Absolutely. The first thing I'd like to do is sell you on the idea that you could list two to four homes every month without giving your life away to do it. Two to four homes every month for sale by owners. And oh, and by the way, if you're already in this business, and I know we have some, some very you know highly experienced agents on the line with us today and you're already doing two to four every month, increase it by two or four while you reduce the amount of time you spend in the business. Gary Rosignol did that, 27-year veteran, and he reduced the amount of time he worked the business while he doubled his income. And that doesn't even sound possible. So yeah, absolutely. I, I would like to sell you on the idea that you can list properties, you can earn six figures, and you can have a life while you do all of that. So we're definitely trying to sell you that. No question about it. So how did I list 17 for sale by owner properties my first month? What the heck did I do? Tim, I've been in this business for a while. Um, I talk to people every day about this. Um, I, I haven't listed 17 properties in a year, dude. How'd you do it in your first month? Well, three and a half years prior to getting into real estate, I was working with a mega millionaire in the network marketing industry. Uh, the company became the fastest growing privately held company in the United States. It went from zero to $194 million a year in four years. It was on the front cover of Inc. Magazine, and I'm being mentored by the founder of this company. So let's make sure we understand something. I had a serious mindset shift that I went through over a period of time. So it wasn't that I jumped into real estate. I'd never heard about success principles. I never heard about anything. I never did any practicing of public presentations or anything like that. I did all of that in a different industry. And I just brought those success principles with me. So I want to share with you what I went through. We'll be concise. I, I intend on this being 30 minutes, 40 minutes at the most. You, you have things to do. You're a busy person. We're busy. Everybody has things to do. I get it. So how did I do it? Well, the first thing I had to do was get my mindset right around a little concept. And I want to share that with you right now, because when I got my mind wrapped out, wrapped, when I got my mind right, wrapped around this concept and this philosophy, my whole freaking life changed. Not only financially, but every aspect of it got better. And it's such a simple philosophy that most people have never heard of. This little thing right here is so valuable. So what are you looking at right there? Of course, your mind says, well, I'm looking at a pyramid, Tim. Damn, man, it's pretty simple. No, you're looking at your company. See, this is your company. Make no mistake about it. And also make no mistake about this, ladies and gentlemen. You own a business. 
This isn't a hobby. It's not a job. We have to get rid of the hump Wednesday, thank God it's Friday mentality. That's for employee mentality. We are now an entrepreneur in a business. And we need to think like that, okay? So I had to get my mind right around that. And let's make sure we understand something as, as we go through this. The number one job that you and I have today is to satisfy our clients. Number one thing we do, satisfy the client. Get the client the outcome that they're looking for in the most efficient, effective manner possible, being compliant and above board on everything, right? That's your job. Now, notice I didn't say the client's the most important person. And I didn't say the client's always right. I said our job is to satisfy the client and get them the outcome. The next thing we have to do and keep really top of mind consciousness is we represent our company. So it's you and I who represent the company in the marketplace. And if we represent the company with ethics and integrity and morals and values, then the company has a better image in the marketplace. So it's you and I who represent the company. So the perception of the company is based upon how we represent the company. So client comes first, company comes second, then we have to take care of our team. Now, I know if you're a brand new agent, <laughs> and I know I remember very vividly what it's like to be brand new. I truly do. You say, well, I don't have a team. Sure you do. You have an admin probably somewhere along the lines in the company. Um, you probably have a home inspector and a mortgage person and a title person and a handy band person and an HVAC person and a roofer and stuff like that. So you have a team. So client, company, team, and then self. Now, wait a minute. This looks like I'm at the bottom of the pyramid. I didn't get into this business. I didn't start my own business to be at the bottom of somebody else's pyramid. As a matter of fact, my first mentor taught me that you and I were instructed to start at the bottom of somebody else's pyramid and then try to climb to the top. He said, Tim, I'm going to teach you to start at the top and build the bottom. It's a whole different idea, a whole different concept. You don't learn this stuff in school. And I thought, wow, that's so true. So I didn't want to be at the bottom of the pyramid. Well, wait a minute, folks. That's the wrong mindset. The bottom of the pyramid is the most important part. And I don't care if you're a C-level, CEO, CFO, COO of one of the big, big, big companies. Doesn't matter. President, vice president, regional manager, general manager, local broker. Doesn't matter. Manager of the office. I don't care. Department head, supervisor. This is for the corporate stuff, right? Doesn't matter. Admin. Admin office assistant, doesn't matter, or the brand new agent. Everybody has to become part of the foundation of the company. So you and I being at the bottom, we're the most important part of it because we're the foundation and the foundation has to be strong. So when we work on ourselves and we become stronger, positive mental attitude, not head in the sand, head stuffed up our butt, not realizing there are bad things going on in the world. I'm saying a positive mental attitude, okay? When we do that and we get strong from within, we build a stronger foundation. Then we build a stronger team. Then we build a stronger company. And then we can provide better service for the clients and everybody can share an increased profitability. And make no mistake, I had my mind so wrong around that. It was just, it was wrong because I always put me at the top. Take care of me, Tim first, Tim first, Tim first, Tim first, Tim first. No, no. When I took care of that for sale by owner first, I made sure they got the outcome they wanted. That's the message I conveyed in the listing appointment. I will get you the outcome you want. They didn't ask how long I was in the business. They, I didn't cut my commission. You don't have to. It's because I worked on myself. So this is step number one. What did I do? I worked on me. I quit school in the eighth grade, come from a very broken home. We don't need to talk about all that stuff. Who cares? Nobody cares anyway. Doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what are we going to do with our life from this day going forward? That's all that matters. Oh, we put a double slide in here. Let me just blow through this. Apologize. So here's a question that I believe everybody should be able to answer. And that question is, what is the primary cause of all of the results that we get in every area of our life? Now, when I was first getting into real estate, I needed some money, man. I needed some cash. And then I remember my first mentor, you know, the mega millionaire guy, he tells me, hey, Tim, the last sign of success you'll ever see is the money. So what? I need some cash now. And then he started teaching this stuff. And I've been, it, really, I've been deep 
in, in this material now for about 28 years and learning this material so I can continue to be better working on the foundation, right? So what is the primary cause of all results? And I know most people say, well, Tim, that's action. Um, nope, I apologize. Something comes before action. Otherwise, it's just action and it's not intelligent action. And then somebody might say planning. Nope, apologize. That's not it either. Attitude is the primary cause of all the results we get in every area of our life. It controls the quality of everything. I'm going to go into planning session with a really bad attitude. Go into the action with a really bad attitude. We're going to talk about a daily method of operation. That's how I really, really made this business good. When I got there, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But go into that daily method with a really bad attitude. You're not going to get good results. It's impossible. Going through school, I didn't have the greatest of attitudes. And I heard over and over and over again, Tim, you must improve your attitude. Well, I had a question then. And some of you may have it now. Well, what the heck is attitude? If you're asking me to improve it, <laughs> what is it? Attitude is nothing more than our own thoughts, our own feelings, and our own actions. That's all it is. But it's not just one of these. It's all of them combined. It's like a composite. And here's the issue we have in today's world, especially in the real estate world. Most people play the blame game and they live on the outside of that circle of responsibility and they blame everything on somebody else. They blame how they feel on somebody else. If it's raining outside, they don't feel as good. If somebody cuts them off on the highway, oh my gosh, it just messes them all up. And she pisses me off and he pisses me off. What is this stuff? Thoughts, feelings, and actions. Don't play the blame game, folks. Your results are 100% your responsibility in every area of your life. But it's that top one I'd like to talk about. Because until I got this right, I didn't list any for sale by owners. You want to list for sale by owners. You want to list expired. You want to go to consistent closings. I promise you I'd tell you what I went through to do that. What did I do to do that? This is what I did. I got this right. But I want to talk about that top thoughts. We've all heard this. We actually become what we think about, right? Well, as far as we can go back in, in ancient history, I don't care how far we go back. All of the great thinkers, philosophers, theologians, capitalists, mega wealthy in any industry, anywhere, all agree on that. But if we become what we think about, well, how do we think? How do we think? We literally think in pictures. I don't care if I, what I ask you to think of. Hot air balloon, airplane. Think of an exotic sports car or a beautiful yacht. Think of your business. And if you don't have a clear image on the screen of the mind, you have confusion. And right behind confusion comes worry, doubt, fear, and anxiety. How much, how many times do you, how, excuse me, how much time do you spend in real estate in worry, doubt, fear, and anxiety? Where's my next deal coming from? Where's the listings coming from? Just jump on any of the social media and people are doing, they're complaining. They're, they're, it's there, folks. I know some of you don't want to hear this. And that's just, the, it, this is the truth of it. So what does our mind look like? If we, if we don't have clarity, we have confusion, we better get this mind thing right. And Dr. Thurman Fleet gave us an image to work with. He said, mind is an activity, not a thing. And he said, you have a mind and a body, you have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. And folks, pay attention to this. This is the game changer. I was told to get a copy of a book called Think and Grow Rich and study a little bit every day for the rest of my life. Now, some of you I know think that's just as whacked as it can be. But I've been reading that book now for 28 years. And Napoleon Hill talks about the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. And in the conscious mind, nobody can stop this, folks. Nobody can control the thoughts that you choose. However, those thoughts are generally controlled by outside circumstances. Hmm. Huh. See, nobody can force you to think something you don't want to think, but make no mistake, if you look at the results that you have in your life right now, they're based on the thought process of the past. So if the results aren't what you want, if they suck, you're not getting the deals you want, you're not getting the closings you want or anything like that. This is the first place you want to go to work. Step number one, because those thoughts create a feeling. And to, to prove this, if, uh, if you have children... Do you have grandbabies? Do you like puppies? Think of those things, man. It creates a nice feeling, it creates a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling. It absolutely does. Those feelings are expressed into action, into a result. Folks, that's the confusion I had for years and years and years. I was thinking success and thinking success and hanging out with these millionaires and thinking it and thinking it and thinking it and thinking it and thinking it, but I still didn't have any of it. But I was thinking it. 
Well, the thought isn't going to do it. Just the thought isn't going to do it. See, if you want to enhance the quality of your results, you must enhance the quality of your thoughts on a habitual basis. How did I get 17 new listings my first month? I got my mind right first, folks. I didn't know anything about real estate. I had no idea about real estate. I didn't even fill out the contracts properly in real estate. I had no clue of how to fill out a contract. My, my first broker, his name is Matt Velas, Velas Realtors. I don't even think they're in business anymore. A little mom and pop company in, in the uh, suburbs of Cincinnati, Ohio. He was pulling his hair out because here's this guy that can't even fill out a listing agreement. But I listed 17 properties my first month. And um, he got all over me one day. I told him to take, have his secretary go get the initials. I was going on another listing appointment. So I really believe this. If we can, if I got 17 my first month, I can absolutely help you get four new listings every month. Every month, without question. And if you'll follow what we talk about, you can get those listings every month. But you've got to follow a system. You have to follow a system, folks. You're in business now. Stop flying from the seat of your pants if you've been around for a little while. If you bought a Chick-fil-A, my friend, you wouldn't just uh, have the building and no playbook and system to operate every aspect of it. But people get in this business and they, there is no system. See, you went to school and, and that, that real estate school thing, they didn't teach you to do anything other than get a license, man. That's all they taught you. So we've got to do something more than just get a license. Now you've got a license. That's like buying your Chick-fil-A building. You've got your building. Now what are you going to do? You got any chicken in the building? You got any French fries in the building? You got any biscuits in the building for them little breakfast biscuit things? You got any of that shake mix to make them chocolate shake things? Do you have any of that stuff or do you just have a building? Think about it, folks. You're operating a business. If this doesn't sound like you, I'll bet you know somebody that it sounds like right there. Too many hours for too little pay. Wanting to pull their hair out. When the next commission's coming. Tired of crappy internet leads. Some paid leads go someplace. The majority of them don't. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, 347 million, I believe it was, 347 million leads were sold last year. 347 million leads were sold, folks. The real estate market was down 19% last year. It was the least amount of home sales in 28 years. Why are we doing that? Don't work your evenings and weekends away. Get control of your business. Don't get up in the morning not knowing what to do, when to do it, who to call, what to say, how to overcome their objections. Don't do this. Some agents make it look easy. Some agents make it look easy to make the big money. It's not hard. If this is going on, you end up feeling frustrated and ready to quit. Why is all this going on? Real simple, lack of a system. The real problem is lack of a system, folks. That's what it is. There's no system in place. You're not, you're, you're not required to have a system in real estate. You're not required to, to open up to, to really operate like a business. Your broker is not responsible to help you build your business. That's your responsibility. They're building a business called a brokerage. Their job is to keep you in compliance. Their job is to keep you legal. That's what their job is. Where there's no system, there's always struggle. I mean, think of Shoot, some of the companies, let's think of a few. Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, DHL, Amazon, FedEx, the United States Postal Service. What about your grocery store? Walmart, Myers, Target, the gas station. How in the world could they, could they possibly keep groceries on the shelf if there weren't a system? You can go to that Amazon thing. I could go there today and order something. I've done this. We built a mega Christmas display and I've needed stuff. So I go to Amazon and order bailing wire for what we... It, I just don't, it's a product. I order a product on Amazon at three o'clock in the afternoon. It shows up overnight. If they don't have a system in place, how do they do that? If you don't have a system in place for your real estate, how in the world are you ever going to get to six figures while you have a life to enjoy it? How? Let me a favor. We're going to take a quick moment. I want you to listen to a guy named Pete Duffy. Pete was my broker. He, I was a Remax agent. I was a Remax agent. I'm not an agent anymore. Uh, complete transparency. And my life is totally wrapped around helping agents produce better results and doing it in less time. But this guy was the broker owner of the year. Not only did he attend our training sessions, but um, he, he's promoting us because he knows this stuff works. Have a listen. I've been a broker for over 25 years. 
I've been through a lot of training courses, and uh, Tim's course felt very realistic because he had done it. It's not just something that, uh, you know, a lot of people say, you know, if you can't do it, you teach it. Well, Tim has done it and been very successful at it and is teaching it as well. As a broker, I would encourage the other brokers to get their people involved because it's a, it is a, a, a program and an opportunity for their agents to embrace the type of education and marketing and technique that we all need to go back to. Marketing and technique we all need to go back to. The sales techniques have been around forever and they work. Why are people aren't teaching the basic sales techniques anymore? I don't know. If you can't, I mean, truly, I, I, I don't know, but they're not. What they're teaching is, excuse my language, throw shit on social media, sit back on your butt and wait. Do me a favor. Don't bother calling your friends and your family, um, especially if you're a new real estate agent. They already know you don't know what you're doing. You, you, you have no clue of what you're doing. Well, who, who, I mean, who am I? Guys, I'm just a normal guy. I really am. But I get tired of being tired. I get sick and tired of being sick and tired. I get tired of the struggle. I get tired of no money. That's the main thing. I get tired of no money, man. No money sucks. Let's just be honest. And for sale by owners or advertising, they have a need for your service. So why would you not call them? Why would you not get really, really good at it? I don't understand that. 17 my first month, 92 my first year. I was miserable, folks. Absolutely miserable that first year because I had no time. There was no time to hang out with that little guy hanging on me right there. That's the grandson that's not feeling so well right now. Um, but, but I had no time for him until I put a system in place. And when I put a system in place, man, that's when stuff happened. 390 grand every year, 40 hours a week or less. I got time for the kids. I got time to be the soccer coach. I got time to go to the dance recitals. I got time to do, I got time to live, man. I got time to live, not be at the beck and call. You know, somebody that decides that, you know, Friday night, they, they saw a house they want to see. So they call me and not God, dog, I got to jump and show it Saturday morning. And boom, I just lost the soccer game with the kids. No, 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 no. I'm in control of my business. If you want to be in control of your business, this is what you learn to do. You learn to list houses, man. And that's what we do. We help agents produce better results and do it in a lot less time. A lot less time. Gary Ralsignal, rock and roll realtor, doubled his income working less hours. It's crazy what, how it works, but it works every time. One thing I have to point out, I got to make sure we all understand this. This is not a get rich quick. It's not do nothing and still get paid. It's not sit on my butt. It's not just because I hang out and get a better attitude for a day. All at once, I expect it to all work. No, it, it, it takes more than that. Okay, it takes commitment. I know I might, have lost, I might have lost some people right there. It takes dedication. This is your business. This isn't a job. This isn't a job where, you know, you got a nine to five shift and you show up at 855. This is a business, folks. This is your business. We need to get that mentality, man. That's what we need to do. Some reports, some reports say 87% of agents don't renew their license after the second year. Well, what we have found is 100% of these agents have absolutely no system to ensure productivity and profitability. None. No system at all. Well, if you open a business and you don't have a system, how could you possibly expect to be profitable? When you got in this business, well, well, I mean, what? where's your system to operate a successful, profitable business? I mean, it's, it, it's such a simple question. And by the way, why didn't they ask you that while you were going through real estate school? Say, oh, why didn't they inform you? Hey, you know what? You're going to need a system. You got you to gotta have a system in place. Now, I, th this is just me. I, I absolutely believe you don't need to do phone duty. I, some people like to do phone duty. I'm just saying I don't believe you need to do it. I don't believe in sitting and waiting for the phone to ring on me. I just don't. You don't have to do open houses or bombard your friends on social media. I know some like open houses. I personally wanted my Sunday for me and my family. And I found out that the sellers that we worked with, they didn't want open houses. They were under the impression they had to have them. So you want your Sundays back, you don't have to do them. Pete Duffy, the broker that I showed you, he loves open houses, does really good with them. So this is just me, okay? Um, you don't need to bombard your friends on social media because I promise you, your friends hear enough about you being in real estate and they're going to start blocking your stuff. 
You don't have to buy zip codes. You don't have to spend a fortune on ads. You don't need a fancy CRM system. If we have a conversation, I'll share with you what I used in my CRM system. It'll blow you away how simple it is. It's crazy. But what you do have to have is you've got to have a system that utilizes the four simple P's because it'll do more for your productivity than all of that other stuff combined. Plan your day. Plan your day. Plan your week. Okay? Plan. Practice. Practice your skills. Folks, if you don't practice your skills, you're never going to get any good at this business. You're never going to get any good at, at, at consistency. Never. You have to practice your skills. If you wanted to teach me to play a guitar, you would teach me one note at a time. I would play one note, one note over and over and over again. Then you would teach me the second note over and over and over again. And then you would teach me to blend those two notes together until I could play music. How in the world do you think you're going to get good at delivering the script that I'm going to share with you today if you don't practice that thing? If you sound like another telemarketer, um, 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 hi, is this the owner of the home that's for sale? I mean, if that's what you sound like, you're not going to get any business, folks. You've got to practice to the point where you open your mouth and it just falls out. That's what you've got to do. And some of you won't want to do that. And that's okay. But you've got to practice to that degree. If you want to get good at this business, hundreds of thousands of dollars while you have time for your life. Because once you practice that much, prospecting becomes fun, easy. You're confident. You're only calling people who have a need for your service. And oh, by the way, prospecting doesn't just mean the phone. There are many, many, many ways to prospect. So open your mind. Now, once you've developed a good lead, You've got to follow up with them, persistent follow up. You've got to stay in touch with people. It's the only way you can prove you care. It's the only way you can prove that you're authentic. It's the only way. So now how do you stay in touch with somebody as much as you should stay in touch with somebody so they never forget who you are without annoying the heck out of them and then pushing the block button? Well, they've got to have a system for that. And you got to deliver value. See, a young lady named Bonita Baker, she was scared to death of this business. She got into business before we ever met. She was working, brand new agent, no clue what to do. She went to school. She did all of that stuff, got her license. She knew she all she did was she learned how to get a license. So she went into the office and she's copying the other agents that are in the office. <laughs> and if they're sitting in the office, they're not doing anything. They're not producing anything. And we, we I don't even know how we attracted you. I don't even know how we connected, but we did. And we worked together and she practiced her brains out. She, we worked together. She developed the confidence and she developed a daily method of operation. And she became a listing agent. In her second month, she listed a property for $1.2 million and earned a full commission for that listing. And oh, by the way, that, one, that, that, that was a for sale by owner property. She's in Florida of all states. I believe there are 23,000 real estate agents in Florida. She's a newer agent calling for sale by owners. How does she get that listing? What the heck did she say? It's not what she said that was so important. Not at all. And yeah, it was a for sale by owner property. Had a sign like that in their front yard. 17 of those guys in my first month. Folks, we're happy to share the script with you. I told you that we would. I'm happy to share with it. And there, there it is. There you get a screenshot of it. Don't worry about it because if you're, if you're here, we've got your email from your registration and we're going to email it to you unless Josh figures out a way to put this thing in the chat window. And I, that's technology beyond me, way beyond me. 17 of the listings my first month. Many more appointments in 17 with that script right there. That's all that Benita did. Benita got really, really good at that. She practiced and practiced and practiced where she could communicate with confidence. Communicate with confidence. Yes, communicate with confidence. It's a new person. If you're Even if you've been around this business for a year or so, but you haven't done this yet, you haven't gone through what we call skill development, it's going to be difficult for you to communicate with confidence. And these people, they know if you have confidence or not. They know right away. If you have confidence, they know right away if you're full of bull. They know right away if you're just chasing a commission or if you truly want to help them get the outcome that they want. And when you prove to them you want to help them get the outcome that they want, you can get 17 this month if you want. 
But here's the deal. You've got to get it, it, the mindset proper and get the whole thought of money out of the mind. We don't cut our commissions, period, end of discussion. Don't cut. I get 3% for every side of the deal. Every My side of the deal, 3% every time. Every time, every time, every time, every time. Every time I don't cut commissions, period, end of discussion. We ain't doing it. So that's not it. 17 of them. We'll make sure that you get this script. We'll make sure that you get it. Another thing you want to do, because just having the script and just having everything, and you, you can literally lose your life in this business. So we've got to develop this thing called a daily method of operation. If you operate from a daily method of operation with some discipline. Yeah, discipline, self-discipline. Without self-discipline, folks, we're done. The self-discipline to practice this webinar. The self-discipline to build it. The self-discipline for us to get on the phone. The self-discipline for us to practice our skills. The self-discipline for us to do this. This isn't hard. This is so super simple. We either exercise the self-discipline of building our own business or we have to exercise the self-discipline of building somebody else's business. It's the only damn choice we have, folks. Come on, there's no reason you're not getting four listings every month. No reason. You can give me a bunch of excuses, but you can't give me one good reason. Other than, hey, Tim, you know what? I haven't developed the skills to do it yet. It's the only good reason. Are you willing to develop the skills to do it? Are you willing to get out of your own way to do it? It's a fair question, folks. So we get together four times every week to role play and practice. Four times a week, Monday through Thursday, we get together. We role play, we practice. We get together a couple of other times a week to also um, do success principle training and Q&A sessions for the system itself, but more than that's something else. We get together four times every week to role play. Is it any wonder that Benita got really good really fast? Is it any wonder that she was able to call up for sale by owner in her second month and have the confidence to speak with intelligence instead of sounding like a scripted telemarketer? Is it any wonder she practiced her brains out? Are you willing to do that? 12 years ago, Zach Cantrell practiced his brains out. 12 years ago, he went through this. Last year, 2023, Zach Cantrell, you're welcome to call him. He's Keller Williams. Some I don't know if he's with Capital Partners anymore, but he's in Columbus, Ohio. Zach Cantrell. I believe in 2023, $300,000 in income on about 15 hours a week. Folks, you can build this, but you can't build it if you're going to act like every other real estate agent out there. So what we've done is we've set aside some time, not some time. I've asked, I've asked everybody, just clear my schedule. Clear my schedule. If you want to have a call, I believe it'll be in the chat window somewhere where you can schedule a call with us. I don't know if Josh, Josh can get it in there or not, but there, there's a Calendly link. Set up a call. I'm happy to have a chat with you and have a, just, a, just a conversation. I'm not going to high pressure you into selling anything. I, please believe me. If I have to talk you into doing something today, I have to talk you into doing something tomorrow, and I am not in that business. Just have a quick conversation. What's your business like now? What would be something that would help your business? A couple of tips, a couple of ideas, a couple of, of, of strategies. We're happy to help you any way that we can. There's no charge for the call, no charge at all. The only thing you have to invest is something that costs a hell of a lot more than money. What costs more than money, Tim? Your time. See, your time you can never get back. That's why the system in real estate is critically important. Your time you can never, ever, ever get back. Never. But you have to invest some of it or you can't get where you want to go. So look in the look, look in the in, in the chat box. Let me check that chat box thing. Yep, there's a calendar link. All of my my calendar has been completely cleared the rest of this day and most of tomorrow. And um, <laughs> when they when they ask me, tell you sure you want to do that, man? You sure you want to do that? Yeah, I'm sure I want to do that because I want to help as many people as I possibly can. No charge for a conversation. No obligation on either part. I'm not obligated. You're not obligated. The conversation, that's it. That's all it is. Today, tomorrow, and I think we've even got a little time Saturday morning we set aside because we've got people from all over the United States on the call this morning. Quick conversation. We are going to give you the script. If you're here, you were on this call, you're going to get the script. We promised you would get that. I promised that I would share with you exactly what I did to list 17 houses. We have done that. I got my mind right. Client, company, team, self. 
I got my thoughts right. The positive thoughts were, have to be the dominating thoughts instead of the negative thoughts. Most people die in the negative shit of life. Excuse my language. Lisa, thank you for scheduling that call. I look forward to chatting with you as well. Lisa and I have been going back and forth and chatting back and forth for a couple of weeks. And I look forward to helping Lisa in any way I can. Absolutely. No charge for the call. No obligation on your part. No obligation on my part. But you have to take action. You have to take an intelligent action, not just action. So I promise that we will share with you exactly what we did. Client, company, team, self, get your mind right. Get the positive thought process. There's the dominating thought process. Not Pollyanna garbage bullshit pie in the sky. No, 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 no. This is habitual stuff, man. Habit. You got to change some of the habits that we have. It's one of the hardest things you ever learn to do. Mind then. Learn to present. You're either presenting on the phone a script to a for sale by owner asking for an appointment, which means you have to create a connection. And then once you have the appointment, now we're in their home. We're in their castle. Now you have to present again. Why you? Why in the world did they hire Benita, a newer real estate agent, over all the other agents that are there in that community on a $1.2 million property? Why? Because she knew how to communicate. She knew how to connect. She knew how to absolutely make the connection that they had complete confidence in Benita's ability to get them the outcome that they were looking for. That's how she got the listing. It wasn't her expertise that got the listing. It wasn't her fancy brochures. It wasn't logic. Let me make something painfully obvious, especially if you're an overanalytic individual. Logic will never get you a listing. Logic will never get you a listing. It takes much more than that. Ladies and gentlemen, I greatly appreciate your time today. Grab that, uh, that Calendly link in the chat box. Schedule a conversation. There's no charge for the conversation. There's no sales pitch. There's not going to be any of this. Buy it today at this price. This price only if you wait till tomorrow, it's a different price. None of that BS. We don't do it. I appreciate your time. Please allow this day to be the very best day you've ever experienced in this game we call life. Yesterday is already gone. You can't do anything about it. Tomorrow is not here. You cannot possibly do anything about that except prepare yourself to receive the good that you desire. However, today you can do something about. Schedule that call. Allow this day to be the best. Tonight, when you put your head on the pillow, please do so with a mind full of peace. Remember, calmness of mind is one of the beautiful jewels of wisdom. And may God bless each and every one of you. Have a fabulous day today.